Welcome back to Make Good Choices Monday. I'm Becky Amio, and if you want to know how not to get your teeth knocked out of your face by a horse, stay tuned. I'll tell you a story about it right now. So about 20 years or so ago, give or take, I had this big sorrel mare that I'd been riding and I needed to move her and I took her to a sale in California. And the pens that they had us in for the sale were uh, corrals, but they weren't like your typical pipe corrals, they were wooden corrals. And they were like two by sixes with little tiny slots in between them. And so you were separated accordingly. And I was standing there with my mare and my boyfriend had just gone off to go get me something to eat and drink. And I was on the verge of getting sick too. I do remember that. And I was standing there with her and she had her head down and I was feeling sorry for myself. And I was feeling bad that, you know, I had to let my mare go. And, you know, folks were coming by and visiting with me about her. And one of the problems was is I didn't have papers on her and um, I couldn't get papers on her. And so that was one reason why I needed to move her. And um, I had a gal that came over and was talking to me about her. And gosh, this was before we had videos and before we could just show somebody a cell phone video or pictures of them doing something. And now that I think back, my gosh, I could have shown all that stuff that that mare could do and she would have sold for so much more money, but I couldn't, you know, cell phones were just coming out. Then I had that old Nokia, you know, the kind that you could drop from a two story building and it would be just fine. Um, <laughs> funny to think about it right now. <laughs> so anyway, this younger gal came over and she was busy with me about my mare. And I, and I called the mare Charlie. I called her Charlie Dame and I spelled it with an E-Y, just like our Charlie dog that we lost here a couple years ago. And uh, she was so neat. She was just like a gelding and um, big old broad, thick quarter horse typey kind of mare, um, speed bred and just incredible. But anyway, she was standing there with her head down and she was really calm and quiet. And I was feeling kind of sorry for myself for having to sell her. And this gal came over to visit with me about her and I'm petting on the mare and she had her head down and this gal put her hand through the rail to pet her and my mare didn't see her because of the way the slats were in the corral, you know, with tiny little eye space and then it's mostly two by two by six. Um, it just startled her and she brought her head up really fast and she cracked me in the face and it was totally an accident and i mean i shouldn't have been standing over her like that e anyway but i'm always real cautious about my face around horses like i said i've never had my nose broken and up to this point i've never had my teeth knocked out um but she didn't knock my teeth out my teeth ended up going through my lip. I had two teeth through this bottom lip here and I had to pull my teeth, my lip off of my teeth. They were just, it was stuck. And um, I was bleeding all over the place, face wound, head wound, you know, they always bleed a lot more. And I was bleeding down my shirt and the girl felt so bad and she was just apologizing, but then she just left. And I was standing there by myself and I had this friend, another friend that had come with us, an old man, and uh, he saw it happen and he was like, oh, and he went looking for my boyfriend at the time. And um, when he came over, he came over, I can't remember what he was bringing me for something to eat, but I remember specifically he was bringing me a Pepsi and he walked over and he was like, and I'll never forget his face when he saw me and I was just <laughs> covered and my face was bleeding. And like <clears throat> right then and there, it was so bizarre. Like I got instantly so much sicker than I was and I had to go somewhere and clean up. It was so bad. And I mean, word got around that horse sale so fast that 
this was the mayor that smacked the girl in the face and I was like great now nah, I'm not gonna get her sold which I did not get her sold that day uh, but I ended up selling her privately anyway and um, I went back and I sat in the truck and this is one of those times if you're gonna cry go sit in the truck and I went and sat in the truck and I remember just bleeding and trying to drink my Pepsi and my boyfriend went and tried to find me a straw to suck my Pepsi through and I was getting sick so I felt bad I had a fever I was just miserable and of course I had this big old fat lip and blood all over the place but um yeah god man memories start flooding back when you start uh really looking deep to find these stories and what what I've gone through it's just God, funny to say the least. I can't believe I've survived it this far without having my teeth broken out. I know so many people who have new teeth from horses. <laughs> anyway, I know it's a short one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you make good choices today and have a great week. I hope you enjoyed my story and have a good one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.